Hey guys, welcome to Merthyr Town. And it wouldn't be Merthyr if it wasn't pouring with rain. I asked producer Dan when that was going to clear. He said probably March. So we thought we'd just crack on anyway, just like the chaps out there now. And the reason we're here is to see Game On. Game On's a group within Wales that put on football, walking football, men's football, girls' football. We'll find out more about it later. But they're going to get an FAW Trust Award before the Georgia game for their work with the grassroots football. Let's go and take a look, shall we? Yeah, today um, behind us now we've got a final fixture in a national Welsh uh, walking football uh, event. Um, so we've got teams from across South Wales today. We were trying to bring in some North Wales teams, but it wasn't to be. Uh, so now at the moment, the, this final pitch is uh, final game is significant to the outcome of the tournament, and we've got Celtic Leisure playing Merthyr, Merthyr Town right now. So uh, yeah, if it will feed into uh, a UK tournament later in the year. Uh, so it's a really exciting opportunity for the participants who are all uh, former footballers coming back into the game. I've been playing football all my life, I'm 52 now, and if anyone said at 50 I would be playing football again competitively, then I wouldn't have believed them to be honest. Um, I used to play football as a kid, um, about 10 years ago I had a back operation, my mobility is not great, and I saw it as a way back into sport. Really enjoyed it, yeah. yeah it's, um, it's amazing what it can do for you, to be honest. Uh, not just as a football, but socially as well. Yeah, I think it, it, walking football's got a stigma around it at the moment because it's walking football and it's seen, it's deemed for just old men past it, but it, it's not, it's very physical. It keeps you fit. Um, it's hard, it's a lot harder than people think. And then you come off sweating like, you know, like, not, like you've been playing five side to be honest. Thoroughly enjoy the games. Um, used to play a lot of football at one time and then my knees just gave in, so it's not quite as strenuous. You can't run, or come to the referee. You, you do have to do everything at walking pace, although a few of them are prone to bend in the rules. Uh, and giving you a bit of stick. Oh yeah, 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 you know, yeah, 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 still yeah that never goes away. Uh, yeah, with the whistle comes the abuse. Yeah, it, is right, yeah. it is competitive, you never, you never lose a competitive edge. And you know, you still enjoy the challenges and the physical side. And I, I think it's absolutely magnificent because there's no reason that you can't play as long as you've got a reasonable level of fitness. In the 70s, why not? My name's Reg Harris. I'm nearly 81 next month. And uh, I thought I'd try walking football, you know, to keep ticking over. Yeah, what we found really, as well as the physical activity and the, and the obvious benefits of that it's really had a, a real uh, bonus for their mental well-being and, and improving their social inclusion as well so you know they've certainly the group that we've developed out of Ponte Preve uh, have now become friends and this you know they're really they've reported that they feel happier in themselves and, and you know their mental health and well-being is, is improving as a result of being physically active. I was saying on the way up actually um, if somebody told a 10 year old Martin he'd be playing for the city um, or playing against Cardiff City players, or even playing on the city pitch at the end of our season, I would have, well, I probably would have wet myself. Yeah, we've won the Welsh Football Trust uh, uh, Grassroots Impact Award for the for the whole of Wales, um, and that's uh, fantastic uh, recognition for for the project. And uh, walking football is one element of what we do. We do lots of uh, youth leagues. And we do uh, a lot of activities trying to develop the girls' game as well. Uh, and we're looking at different uh, ways of expanding all the time. So it's around social inclusion. Sport, and particularly football, is the, the, the way we engage people. But we're just trying to reduce the barriers that stop people from participating in, in activities across Wales. 